Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to use Bone MIDI Translator Pro to map an incoming relative encoder value to an absolute MIDI control value. First, we'll talk about the types of encoders there are. There's a twos complement encoder that we'll talk about first. In a twos complement encoder, a value of 65 to 127 represents a, a decrement, and a value of 1 to 64 represents a positive value or increment. The example here shows how it works. You'll note that a value of 127 is a decrement by 1 and a value of 1 is an increment by 1. Of course if it's at 0 there's no change and there's usually no output with that value. A value of 126 decrements it by 2 and a value of 2 increments it by 2. Refer back to this illustration if you get lost later during this tutorial. Another common relative encoder type I call the 3F41 encoder. The values for increment and decrement are shown here. Note that not everyone implements multiple increments and decrements that are shown here in red. The objective of this tutorial is to convert these incoming values to absolute values of 0 to 127. Here I'm creating a project file and first I need to define the inputs and outputs and I'm going to send it out to Bone MIDI Translator Virtual Port 1. Now we'll go ahead and create a translator for the incoming message. I'll start by capturing the actual incoming MIDI message. Then I'll change the value to a variable called PP and that way I can adjust the value um, using the rules that I'm going to put in together now. So first thing we need to do is look at PP, the value of PP and uh, if it's greater than 64 that means it's going to be a decrement so we're going to set up a rule to subtract 128 from it and then uh, if it's greater than 64 then we want to take the variable GA which will be our absolute value and we will add that to the the value that we subtracted however if it's uh, less than or equal to 64 what we'll do is we'll just add the value to the existing value of the controller which is GA again now if uh, GA is less than 0 we don't want to put anything anything out and if GA is greater than 127 we don't want to put anything out. I'll go ahead and document this uh, by using comments uh, so that later on when I share this project file you'll be able to see what I've done. I'm going to skip ahead on typing to shorten the video but this will all be there in the project file uh, that it's demoed that I'll post. Okay, wrapping up my comments here. Uh, the next thing we do after we get all the rules together is we're going to have to change the output to the new value that we've defined as GA. So we're going to make it a raw MIDI message. And we're going to give it the value with the same controller number, but the value of GA. Now with the login feature of MIDI Translator Pro, we can see the incoming and the outgoing messages, and the incoming are relative, and the outgoing are absolute. Thank you for watching today. Now I'm not going to show you the other encoder type, but I will include that in the demo file so you'll be able to see how it's done. It's primarily just a different math exercise, but using the same methodology. Again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at www.bohm.com.